up like we do No one does us like we do Always go hard with this girl Welcome to the show, let's make moves Nothing's gonna stop us, it's time to get rough Turn the whole room up, it's never enough Let's go, 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 let's go Coach, it looks like you could finish about yeah. half or less. But you had help. You didn't even finish half of yeah, your pizza only from about to go to training. I can't yeah. train like that. <laughs> so we're doing "Let's Go Gaffer" this week from one of our sponsors, Port Orchard Sparrows Pizza and Pasta, yeah. and um, it's like a second home to us, just like all of our sponsors are. So yeah. we're having that fun time, hanging out and enjoying their food. Uh, we always ask you how, what you thought of the previous game, so take us back to the 3-0 win over Twin City Union on Sunday. Yeah, I thought, I thought, I mean, it's kind of been reported that we had a lot of guys missing, and I thought it was an opportunity for some guys to maybe take bigger roles. They would be guys that typically played, but maybe take bigger roles than they would normally see, or more minutes than they would normally see, and I thought those guys were all able to step up pretty big. I thought Sam Cruzy did a lot in the midfield for us. I thought... Porter Herbig did great in his debut. Gill, who's been sort of a center back in the background for us, has been able to step up in that game and be a driving force and getting us a clean sheet, our second clean sheet in a row. I thought then you got guys that are always there like Jake and Devano that are so reliable in the attack, still doing what they do best. And overall, it was a pretty complete performance. Second half was frustrating because I felt like we maybe weren't allowed to play as much as we wanted to. and. To be fair, that wasn't the other team. It was more of a just the way things were going, circumstances mm -hmm. on the field. But overall, good performance. Yeah, there were a flurry of yellows. And yeah. even at one point, um, the official addressing our home crowd, which I didn't really think was yeah. professional. But, you know, th these things happen. So little did we know then, but we found out really quickly after, that clinched the Pacific Division title for us and a first place playoff spot in the CPL too. Talk about that for a second. Yeah, I wish we would have been able to know that officially at the time, but uh, goals and North Peninsula were still playing. But yeah, to get that over the line is a huge a huge accomplishment and in, in one of the many things that we want to accomplish this season. But to get that one done and officially have it accomplished it's good because then you're starting to see the results of what we've been working so hard on the past few months. And it's it's good for the I, – I think there's a sense of accomplishment for the guys and for us as a coaching staff and everybody working in the background. It's, it's just nice to see us get over the line in that way, and now we can <clears throat> start shifting toward using these last two games of the season to get us sharp and playing and the way we want to and being as fully prepared for the postseason as we can be. Yeah, it was a real, really quite a scene, and we've already shared some video after the match on yeah. Sunday with the kids coming down to the field and interacting with our players and getting autographs. And then it hits you, our six-game home season has completed. Yeah. And we tallied up the numbers, and here we drew over 4,000 total fans, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, what, what can you say, really? It's just one of those things where we've we've set up this club the way we have but for the fans to respond and and to back us the way they have i mean i feel like i've been saying it all season but it can't be said enough like it's it's humbling but it's also so encouraging and it drives us forward and i know the players get an extra boost from it i know us as a coaching staff love it it's so nice i mean we're sitting on the other end so we're seeing that whole stand fill up across from us as we're coaching this game it's it's fun. It's fun. It's, it's what's making this season so special. Tell me what you what do you think about Sunday? Yeah, I don't. I think the one thing that everybody's seeing is every time we play a team the second time, it's not the same game. Rosters have improved. Teams have a bit more cohesion. Style of play has improved. Thankfully, that's the same for us, right? So we've been able to maintain that success. But 
I don't expect it to look like the same as the first time around. These these guys have done really well to find form at home now that they have five home games in a row. They're playing well. They're obviously getting results. Or even that Steel United game, that's a really close game and a close result. And we played that Steel United team a few weeks ago and know that they're no slouches. They're a great team. So I expect it to be a tough game. I expect us to also be prepared for it, though. So we'll be working hard this week at training and just getting ready for the next game. All right, Coach, we will check in with you in the coming week or so about more about the playoffs. But for now, Northern Peninsula FC is next on the schedule, and that's yep. who we're getting ready for this week. 100%. All right. Thank you for the visit. Thank you.